Hello, it's Psych2Go time. Are you highly intuitive? If you are, perhaps you're getting that gut feeling right now that we'd love for you to like, comment, or share, in which case you're totally correct. <laughs> All joking aside though, I understand you might be getting images of psychics and crystal balls. Truthfully though, it's not magic nor supernatural. Intuition is more Sherlock than charlatan. The renowned psychiatrist and psychoanalyst Carl Jung defines intuition as a way of perceiving the world through our unconscious to bring forth ideas, images, and possibilities blocked out by rational thinking. Essentially, it's the ability to get it without consciously reasoning it out. Everyone is capable of intuiting, but just like dancing or singing, only a rare few ever do it well. Here are eight very telling signs that you are a highly intuitive person. Number one, you're a deep thinker. Do you notice things others don't? Maybe you're frequently in your own head, making you deeply in touch with your own thoughts and feelings. You quietly observe and thus perceive so much more than meets the eye. These are traits of being a deep thinker and definitely help provide food for your intuition. Number two, you can easily read people. So five card stud or Texas Hold'em. A good card player can read people like a book and so can the highly intuitive. You read, study, and understand others. You pick up on all the cues from body language to choice of words, allowing you to assess their entire emotional state and likely train of thought. So if you always seem to know when something is out of the ordinary, even if the other person is trying to hide their feelings from you, this may be the reason why. Number three, you're highly empathetic. If you cry, I cry. When you're joyful, the happiness is infectious. If you feel this way, it's likely a sign of a deep sense of empathy. You feel what they feel and easily relate to their mood. Highly intuitive people are very sensitive to the feelings, mood, and attitudes of those around them for this very reason. This gives you a good lead, oh highly intuitive one, to accomplish point number four. You're a good judge of character. You know those times when you meet someone and they feel off, despite the sparkly smile they present? Or when you distance yourself from someone because of a feeling, finding out later they're a fake friend? You're not infallible. There are times when all that charisma, charm, and beauty fool you. However, you, more often and more easily than most, are able to rip off that veneer and see the truth underneath. Number five, self-awareness is second nature to you. You can't know a person better than they know themselves. And with intuitives, this may be more accurate than usual. Intuitives are so thoughtful and self-reflective, they have a solid and honest understanding of who they are, what they think, feel, want, and believe. They embrace their uniqueness. They're consciously aware and accepting of all their character traits, both positive and negative. This leads to them being more confident, mature, opinionated, and driven the most. Number six, you have a creative side. Do you consider yourself an artistic person or even have creative leanings and hobbies such as drawing, dancing, or designing? Maybe you enjoy art and have a deep appreciation for the beauty of the everyday that others might see as mundane. Intuitive people often have a natural creative streak. They have an inexplicable deep well of inspiration to draw from. Creative self-expression is their favorite way of connecting with the world and the people around them. Number seven, you're a vivid dreamer. Sigmund Freud, the founding father of modern psychology once said, dreams were the road to understanding our innermost thoughts and feelings. Although there are some disagreements on the scientific validity of dream analysis, many psychologists and scholars still believe that our dreams are manifestations of our subconscious desires, fears, and ideas. So if you remember your vivid dreams, lucid dreams, or can make sense of your dreams, it means that you're deeply attuned to your unconscious mind. And number eight, you let your heart have a say in your choices. When you're gifted with good intuition, sometimes you just know things you can't explain rationally. Decisions are made via gut feelings and have good results. This is because our intuition bridges the gap between our conscious and unconscious minds. It knows what we want and what's best for us even before we realize it for ourselves because it doesn't try to rationalize everything and make compromises. 
So do you relate to any of the signs we've talked about here? Are you a highly intuitive person? The next time someone says to you, how did you know that? Do you just shrug and say, I just did? Give us a shout. We'd love to hear your experiences. If you want more of this, stay tuned and subscribed, and we'll see you next time.